I'm Sean Chalfin, and uh, this is going to detail how I believe my domains were uh, DNS hijacked at GoDaddy for five years almost. Since 2016, they're still being DNS cache poisoned and hijacked because of what I'm going to show right now. And I also believe that this is going on a grand scale. It is going on at multiple registries where the registrant His domain or her domain is being used as a subdomain on another server. And GoDaddy and those that I believe that are stealing from me, including Expedia and Kayak, Fastly, Nextar Media Group in the past, I don't know if they're doing it anymore because of Elizabeth Ryder's uh, notifications that I've given her. But... Uh, Interesting things took place in the last month. I sent those that are hacking me, plus law enforcement, this image. And this really wasn't the image I should have sent. There is a one with more information down here. But my name servers are at Bluehost on mask.care. This is mask.care, and this service is check your website server dayton.d it's a fantastic service because it identifies the redirects in your website and here my website mass.care is being redirected to these dns1 ns1.net servers and i sent this to kayak godaddy expedia and that was the 1st of May, and on June 6th, I did a, another report on kayaks and everyone's website, and they changed, but this is the one I should have sent those guys. This one, this one hasn't changed. This is the original. This was done on April 26th. And these are Kayak's name servers being pushed to the same one that I am. They're pointed right at the DNS1, NS1.net name servers. This is how Kayak's defrauding me. Now, there is Expedia before and after. And throughout this video, I'm going to show before and afters, but I'm just doing an intro right now. On April 26th, I ran Expedia's DNS uh, redirect checker, and there is the PDNS 196 ultra dns.biz and .net. And all of these IP addresses, after I sent that complaint, have been deleted. They changed. They made significant changes, which is a big red flag. This is GoDaddy. Before April 26, they had these IP addresses forwarding here. There's number 10, there's number 10, and 11, 12, 13, all the way down to 22 have been removed. 20 through 44, so 21 through 44 have been removed. I never put this green in here. I don't know what it is yet. I have to look that up, but obviously it's something because... They removed it. Now, had GoDaddy never attacked mask.care with their website, WSite, 
GoDaddy.com, a GoDaddy site, malware delivery vehicle. I would have never been able to explain what's been going on for the last five years. Now, this I am world is a man in the middle attack. It is what I call a subdo subdomain attack. Now, I am world has those same DNS1, NSO1, NS1.net name servers, and there are 125 million domains, subdomains, on listed on this NS1.net name server. And the who is of I am world points at NTT.net, which the start of authority is GoDaddy. And this AK Secure I am world, which has those name servers at NS1, if you look right here, AK Secure is a subdomain on I am world wide.com and right there it is I, I I go through and show it later on this is hotels.viajes being overtaken by Expedia line by line but in the header here they've mirrored this site identically but in the header is travel assets and travelmedia.com and these are injections man in the middle attacks which are pointed at the index exchange using these ultra DNS servers that they're on. Now here are Expedia's name servers and on the left here now this was changed after I let them know that I had this they got rid of all this but on the left are the redirects of Expedia's name servers and on the right here is a travel media who is, and travel assets has the same media uh, name servers. So this is mask.care. Again, had GoDaddy not hacked mask.care with this IMR worldwide man in the middle attack, I never would have caught them. You can see here that the IMR worldwide's name servers have NS1 name servers. On the left are the index exchange name servers with IP addresses pointed to those like NS1 and AKM. And th this is where GoDaddy is connected to the NS1 servers. On the right are Expedia's name servers pointed to A records and C names. They're not connected to the index exchange. So far, I have not connected them. I have not connected GoDaddy, and I have not connected uh, my websites to Expedia's websites so far. Now, this is how GoDaddy is connected to the index exchange. On the right here, you have GoDaddy's name servers and these unique IP addresses that are being forwarded to the index exchange. And on the left here is the index exchange, and you can see how GoDaddy now is connected to the NS1 servers that they're using to hack me. Now this is how they're all connected. Fastly is on the right, and Fastly connects everyone. Here you can see on the right, far right, middle section, the ultradns.biz, but on the left, uh, in that same right side, right side, halfway through, you see the ultradns.net. Fastly connects everyone. And this is why they deleted everything when I showed them just a small portion of how Kayak was redirected, receiving the redirected traffic from mass.care. This, by the way, is how it works. I had most of this information. However, had they had not attacked mask.care, I never would have figured it out. 
But back in 2018, you could see Uniregistry here attacking, which is Confluence Networks, attacking Hotels.Viajes at the skin.shopping server where I have built Hotels.Viajes. And you can see travel assets right there in the middle, man in the middle attack. And they're redirecting this to traffic, my website, to Expedia. This spells it out. And there's the index exchange right there highlighted. Eyes.Care. Eyes.Care had malicious text records attached to it, like, like thousands of mine, like this during my tenure with GoDaddy. But it was pointed at Website Welcome. And Website Welcome also has those ns1.net name servers pointed at the index exchange. I could never get eyes.care to resolve because eventually I found out that eyes.care was pointed at the University of California. And now that's where the A records are. They stole that domain from me but for two and a half, three years, it was in my account pointed at the University of California. This is Envy.Clothing. I had many like this that GoDaddy put these uh, A records here, or this IP address, and pointed Envy.Clothing to my Shopify. And my Shopify has one million domains, subdomains. One million. And... They also have those NS1 servers. This is an analogy that I want to use right now regarding what Expedia does in-house. They're doing to me externally. These are the Apple Touch icons that GoDaddy injected into my websites. And again, GoDaddy is the infrastructure for these travel companies. So this is HomeAway and Escapia. And these websites are identical on the inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. <clears throat> This is my website, Hotels.Viajes. On the outside, it looks like mine. But on the inside, it's Expedia. This is Escapia, which is an Expedia home away company. And they are identical. HomeAway and VRBO, they are identical on the inside. HomeAway and VRBO, Escapia and HomeAway, they are identical on the inside. But here in the uh, left column, you can see it says HomeAway, but over here on HomeAway, HomeAway.com's website, it's Expedia. This is a, a, a fantastic analogy of what is going on right now because, because had GoDaddy not attacked mask.care, I never went able to prove exactly how these guys are doing this to me. Look at GoDaddy overtake mask.care. Here is Priceline, and Priceline's targeting me after a lawsuit. This is rentalcars.com sinking boomerang into wallstreet.finance, and they stole this domain from me. Expedia overtaking mask.care. They're sinking. Instead of putting their content in, back in the, like they did back in the day, they're sinking it. So what they're doing in-house, they're doing to me. Home away VBR, VRBO. They're stringified. Home away VRBO. Stringified. Home away and Escapia. Here you can see they're iterating multiple, multiple domains in their subdomains.
VRBO and Mass.Care, my website, Stringified, back in the day, Hotels.Viajes, overtaken by Expedia. And now they're using code because they knew I was taking these screenshots and catching them like this. So Fastly injects its script in here too. And this is suit.style, completely taken over. Fastly overtakes suit.style. Expedia overtakes mask.care. Look at the numbers. They're the same. Mamando is kayak. Kayak.com, overtaken. So what they're doing in-house, they're hiding it as they do it to me. Escapia and Home Away. It's Expedia-based company. GoDaddy overtakes mask.care with CSSS rule. More, more subdomains, Home Away and Escapia. And it's okay if they do it to themselves, but they stuck me in this stringified and iterated me with this mess. Expedia overtakes Hotels de Viajes. Expedia overtakes Hotels de Viajes line by line. Expedia now is overtaking mask.care, but they're using syncing code. Now, here's the who is, and you'll see how NS1 is connected to VRBO, Expedia. They're all connected using the index exchange. And that is how they're connected. What they're doing in-house, they're doing to me externally. So when I said WSite took over mask.care, GoDaddy turned my domains into slaves after I discovered Lacana. And so I... I, uh, having a little knowledge of, I'm going to show here in a second, that the master and slave is GoDaddy's takeover of probably hundreds of thousands of sites. They took over 5,000 of my domains, but they took over my websites like this, injecting it with their script from WSite.com as a master and slave. Master, here's the W site takeover for, this is, a, this is the back end of mass.care. And there's the W site script with that hashtag on it. Master and slave. And I want to do the master and slave while we're here. Uh, so, GoDaddy's W site I discovered last year about in June of 2020. Injecting this, this is how I found Jacob Rossi and Fastly. And by the way, I'll show you how I caught Fastly in here. But I am used to seeing this master and slave because GoDaddy tore down my websites when I discovered Lacana. And then they turned those domains that were websites into slaves. And they stole from me. And these Websites redirect to jazera.net. And 
and I go into that later and I show how, not in this video, but jazera.net and jazera.net is a GoDaddy domain. But here is Miami.fish. Here they call it a Sherpa and slave. They're quite, quite, they toss the word slave around a lot, by the way. This is walleye.fish, big domain, stolen from me. Stolen after I discovered Lacana. They turned it into a slave and redirected it to jazera.net. And the jazera.net is found right in here. Master and slave, eyes.care, big domain. It was pointed at the University of California for two years while it was in my account under another, go, another uh, uh, website, Welcome, which has several thousand domains pointed at NS1. And I'm going to show that in this video. Master and slave. Hotels.fish, GoDaddy. GoDaddy's pretty liberal with the word master and slave. That is the beginning. While well, Ross Weber's redirect of geo.viajes was the beginning. And Ross Weber is a former kayak executive. So this went on for about two months. And I made all kinds of com complaints to Expedia and GoDaddy. And they changed. They went to the IMG, GoDaddy's IMG, and they re they injected these IMGs after I built the website. And it was very traumatic because I spent years building these sites and these IMGs would come up. Now these IMGs would redirect traffic to the index exchange. And inside these IMGs were Lacana and Fastly and Expedia. That's the old hack. But I do want to show this. Look how, look how Expedia took over my websites line by line. And that number is this right here. They had no problem doing it. But here's the new hack. Here is the 2021 hack. Here is injecting the Fastly, Fastly injected GoDaddy's content, which is this right here into the media player. And that's where Jacob Rossi comes in because he, their hacker, was configuring all this. So now they're syncing data. It looks like this, and this is Fastly, I think. Fastly, syncing, mirroring my websites. And this data has been injected into the media player. And they're using this old shockwave media player to do it. And it came in with CDN2. Now, Kayak is also sinking. They're very elusive, but I got it many times. It looks like I'm going to get the beach ball. Priceline, this is Google Tag Manager, but Priceline is doing the same thing. VRBO in the Shockwave video player. Now, before I get into the main part of this, this is very important because this is the who is of everyone I believe that is defrauding me. And I want you, please notice that these companies name servers all point to the index exchange. And that is how I believe there's collusion of traffic. If you're a small travel company like I was trying to become, You'll never become one, uh, be able to compete with Expedia and Kayak because GoDaddy has the infrastructure that I just showed you 
And all of these domains are being forwarded. Their name servers are being directed to the index exchange. So here's Expedia. The who is I can Expedia fastly there there's uh yeah and GoDaddy and so fastly connects everyone because they're the content delivery network index Expedia and they are connected by fastly which I'm going to show. Index Fastly, and it took me five years to figure this out because they hacked mask.care and eyes.care was pointed at website welcome, and they were also doing this with confluence networks, but they're all connected. GoDaddy is a travel company. At least, in a way, they lay the foundation for these travel companies. So they're all connected through the index exchange. And I wanted to become a travel company, and GoDaddy prevented me from doing it. And they also knew that I was getting ready to sign, uh, sign or roll out my seven websites with Amadeus and they stopped me from doing it and they took my biggest domains and websites and forward into Expedia. GoDaddy lays the infrastructure for these travel companies and they prevented me from becoming a travel company when I was getting ready to launch with Amadeus. Hotel ID. VRBO. GoDaddy is a travel affiliate, but they look just like a travel company on the inside of their websites. Okay, this is very unusual here. I know I'm using an encrypted browser. However, I'm watching something show up from here when I hit the refresh. And again, I think they're mirroring this site. Expedia is mirroring this site. This shouldn't be here, by the way. This is in its own iframe right here, HTML. But this is the part they're, they're hacking me from. Now, that is interesting because I never put that there on the front page and this is the front page of hotels.viajes but watch right do you see that there's something right there watch this again I'm gonna hit refresh and there's a website yeah this thing has been mirrored and you may think you're on hotels.viajes but I see a header right here. It said about Expedia. They're still stealing from my website, I allege. Watch this again. I'm Sean Chelfin, and I'm going to show how Expedia and Kayak took over Hotels.Viajes keyword search and links in the page. And the other is this XML RPC uh, that GoDaddy kept sticking in the headers of my websites that redirected right to Expedia and Kayak. But Hotels.com is here because they are putting what I believe is this an XML RPC redirect on the domain and there is Expedia there is I believe an Expedia company this 
goes right to Expedia, this xmlrpc.php. Let's put a regular O here. and make, That's my other domain. Expedia, this xmlrpc goes right to Expedia. First link. I could do this with all my domains. Check this one out. The xmrpc is how they're redirecting my domains. Look at that. Hotels.viajes forward slash flights goes right to kayak. We're going to do my other domain, which is the same other than it has a diacritic over the O. It's hotels.viajes with a diacritic over the vowel. And it pulls one billion. And Destinina, Destinina is registered in Seattle. Well, uh, Kirkland, Washington. This company has been getting a lot of my hits. There's Expedia. So, but let's do flights. Orbits. Kayak. These people, I allege that Kayak is jumping in on the flight section while Expedia owns the hotel section. Hotels.com is Expedia. This is my website right here. It should be pulling to my link. This is an awful, awful, awful event. Paris Davies shows up here because they know I know this domain. However, if we do forward slash hotels, we have Expedia. So Expedia has taken this domain from, or this search from me. Let's do the flights. This is my domain. This should be going. I think I'm a robot now. This is going to Kayak. I do believe that Booking.com and Kayak are taking the flights portion of my domains and Expedia is taking the hotels portion. Goes right to Expedia or Kayak right here. Three more real quick. This is Traveler.Flights. If you Google traveler.flights, it goes right to the landing page. Right here. And that's After Nick. Click on it. There's After Nick. That's my domain. And yeah, they won't let me transfer it. So here, though, we're going to Google cars.flights. Now, cars.flights should be right here. But instead, kayak is right here. And that is Expedia, and that is Expedia, and that is Expedia, and I think that is Kayak. And there's Priceline, which is Kayak. And there you go. They're all sharing that. Instead of Cars.Flights popping up, you get who's benefiting from the credentials here. Here I am in the Google box. Putting the URL cars.flights and it pulls Priceline, Kayak, and Expedia because they've overtaken that domain. Now I'm going to do it again. Same. Kayak, Hotwire, Expedia. They overtook this domain. They are targeting me after a lawsuit. GoDaddy in-house is uploading my domains on an Expedia or a Akamai server. That allows them to do this. And that server is pointed at the index exchange, which allows them to share the traffic. Okay, here we are again on Website Builder, and I'm trying to launch Cars.Flights right now. Now, Cars.Flights, if you inspect it, I just launched it. I just launched it. And Oh, this is GoDaddy's site. 
Okay, this is a before and after uh, slide I put in here. Uh, this SEO tool kept preventing me from working on my uh, search engine optimization after I had first done it one time and then it stopped uh, allowing me to do it because it said I had no title page. Well, the next day I called Darren Ruse and I said, hey, this thing's telling me I have no title page, but I have a title page. And what is all of this? What's all this script doing in the header? Like that Google Analytics account. Like Live Engage. Oh, it's just part of the site, Sean. It's part of our services. Well, the next day, that was encrypted and I was able to do a title. They covered it up. GoDaddy, after I called Darren Ruse, this is the before and after. Um, so GoDaddy doesn't have the redirects in their header. So, and I'm on their website page, but this is cars.flights on the GoDaddy server and it hasn't been launched yet because we've tried to launch it. So I'm going to uh, run a search engine optimization. And so I've already gone through this once and it rejected it. So we're going to start optimizing. And we're going to cruise right through here and cars our page title choose a page title for the search results we're going to choose cars flights here we go this is the seo title we're going to click yes i've already done this and it says no title or headline found Hotels, Hotels.com. Look at all those changes. I knew Hotels.com was into me hard, man. They recording, a screen recording of my domains while I was on the phone with Darren Roos, Premier Services, the GoDaddy. And I walk him through the domains that I know were redirecting to Expedia. And from about this time on, I'm showing him the Expedia subdomains that are pulling when we're doing searches for my domains. And Darren is being argumentative and not helpful. And he's looking for reasons for every statement I say to disprove me. He actually says right here, Darren Ruth says, ignore what you see. <laughs> ignore what you see. So I catch him. I catch Expedia's subdomains pulling when we're searching for these domains. It's, an, it's really a fascinating event because at the time I couldn't explain what was happening. I just saw what was happening. But it is this one right here, Vegas Baby, my domain, that was redirecting to a GoDaddy domain, VegasBaby.Casino. And clearly it was redirecting to VegasBaby.Casino. And Darren... <laughs> so... They, GoDaddy, took that website down. They took the website down after they knew I had recorded him and after I sent this recording to the FBI because I knew there was DNS hijacking and I thought Darren Ruse was in on it. And now I know that they were maliciously pointing 
all of them to the index exchange. And that is how they were hacking me. At least Expedia and Kayak. Uh, I'm not sure about this one because it was in-house because the name servers were pointed at GoDaddy because that's where I was building a domain. So it was all done in-house. And by the way, this is an inside job at GoDaddy stealing my domain portfolio and also the travel companies preventing me from becoming a travel company. And you can clearly see it in this GoDaddy is travel company. At least in a way they lay the foundation for these travel companies. So they're all connected through the index exchange. And I wanted to become a travel company and GoDaddy prevented me from doing it. And they also knew that I was getting ready to sign, uh, sign or roll out my seven websites with Amadeus. And they stopped me from doing it. And they took my biggest domains and websites and forwarded them to Expedia. GoDaddy lays the infrastructure for these travel companies and they prevented me from becoming a travel company when I was getting ready to launch with Amadeus. Hotel ID. VRBO. GoDaddy is a travel affiliate, but they look just like a travel company on the inside of their websites. Screen recording with Darren Ruse. And at the end of it, even their own SEO tool catches GoDaddy's hack and those IMGs, which held Lacana relays and redirects Live Engage, GoDaddy's uh, Google Analytics account, and more. They just stole from me. And this video right here catches them in the act. It catches them in the act. And it's a big deal. Eyes.care. Eyes.care. I registered this domain in 2016 and GoDaddy stole it from me in 2019 after I discovered Lacana. But one thing I want to show about eyes.care, look, it was in my account 2016 to 2019, but GoDaddy had the MX records for two years while I had it pointed at the University of California. And the text records were at website welcome. Now it's taken me five years to figure this out. Uh, four on this one. Uh, but here we are. And by the way, now it's at pork bun and it's pointed at the University of California. It's just absolutely awful what they did. But let's move on to the big thing here, where I believe there are thousands of registrants being defrauded. Website Welcome. Website Welcome is where they had this domain, eyes.care, parked as a subdomain underneath Website Welcome. I want to get to it as soon as I cover the index exchange. Now this is a print off of hotels.viajes back in 2018. And in 2018, I discovered that Confluence Networks, which is Uniregistry, was hacking hotels.viajes and a whole lot of other domains. In this case, they're injecting travel assets into hotels.viajes via the index chain exchange, which is in uh, Toronto, outside of Toronto. But currently, 
currently mask.care was injected with w site content go to Eddie's website and in came this imrworldwide.com which are pointed at ns1 servers they're not supposed to be pointed at m1 servers mass.cares are bluehost servers however imr worldwide is you can see that now hotels.vi's back in the day Unit registry right here. I am R Worldwide and Lips Media. Lips Media is live engaged, by the way. But let's make sure I go over website welcome. Now, website welcome, this is an old who is from GoDaddy, and it has DY NECT name servers and ACK. Akamai name servers. So the index servers here have those NS1 servers we're minor pointed to. And not the same ones, but we're going to cover the index exchange here in a little bit. And so are the AK AKMs. The other thing they did was pointed hundreds, hundreds of my domains to this IP address. 23, it's place called my Shopify and my Shopify that IP address is right here and their name servers are pointed right here as well at ns1.net so they're in the exchange as well and they have a million subdomains and so those are what the subdomains look like and they have a million of them. And that's what they were doing with my domains. They were sticking them in these subdomains and making them. They were using them. They were using them. And I'm not the only one they're doing this to. What I want to show. This is IMR Worldwide. Now, IMR Worldwide has only 263 subdomains right here. And ns1.net has about 1.25 million domains at this server, these servers right here. But they all look like this, which is the way some of my domains looked like when Expedia was using them. So NS1 name servers right here. Now, website welcome where eyes.care was maliciously pointed to. Has the same name servers, NS1. So they also have these four C names. And some of these C names are GoDaddy's domains. And underneath those, they have thousands of subdomains. So it's kind of like uh, one big multi level marketing hierarchy of subdomains underneath these C names. Boot, boards Boot Camp. Is a GoDaddy domain. And the IP address where that is has over a thousand subdomains on it. Oh my God, CP calendars. CP contacts. Right. Where's the one? Uh, 
So my Shopify also has the same name servers. And these are called, these name servers are at the index exchange. And by the way, my Shopify, where GoDaddy pointed hundreds of my domains, is not much of a website at all. But there are over a million subdomains on this. Many of my travel domains were maliciously and still are because I wanted the FBI to look at them. Many were pointed at confluence networks. And confluence networks is hacking me right now. And I'm getting everything they're doing through my shark tap. Now, like domains like cannot win, right? But their name servers are uniregistry name servers. But localhost, which I've seen in my net stats, how many did that say? Over a million, right? Three million. Three million subdomain, and of course, GoDaddy now owns these. Their company called NameFind, but this is what they do: they load your domain up on a subdomain. Now, not all of these are maliciously attacked. Not all of them. A lot of them are, and every one of mine were. So. When they load your domain up on one of these servers like I am worldwide.com, it disappears from SEO, generic searches. And according to Tom Parker from Kayak, they use varnish to get in there and do what they want. Varnish. Varnish and Varnish allows them Fastly, GoDaddy, Expedia, Kayak, Tom Parker to get in there and do what they want. Lacana and Fastly. Here is an example. These are two screenshots one of mass.care on the right, hotel.beer on the left, two years ago. And they're using Varnish. They've hacked both of these sites currently and two years ago using Varnish. And Varnish and Fastly left their IP address two years ago in here. And this time around, they're encrypting it. But that's Varnish. And they're hacking those websites right there. Caught on film. This is a big deal because a lot of these registrants want to be earning money off their domains and they can't because they're not searchable because GoDaddy has loaded them on a server as a subdomain. Like they did to me. My Shopify has over a million subdomains and they pointed hundreds of mine here. It took me five years to figure this out. Now, now that we know, where's the index exchange? Uh, index exchange. The index exchange is what I call Grand Central Station for DNS. And These are images from check your website server Dayton.d and this is how I discovered all of this because suit or mask.care 
was being, those are my name servers right here, Bluehost. And they were maliciously pointed here because GoDaddy injected this malware, imworldwide.com, which we know has NS1 name servers attached to it. Now, this is VRBO over here, and they have the same name servers attached to it, which allows them to hack me. And that's what GoDaddy was putting in these IMGs. They were redirecting, redirecting SEO to the index exchange and still are. And I am not the only one they're doing this to. Now, Expedia is not directly connected to the index exchange. But Fastly connects GoDaddy and Expedia. This is Fastly on the right, and here's Expedia on the left. And there are Expedia's name servers right here. And Fastly's connecting them. Again, mask.care is connected here. <laughs> I mean, this took me a while to figure out. Now, Fastly has access to all of them because they're delivering the content to all of them. Lacana's content, for example, to all of them. Now, Index Exchange, Mamondo, which is Kayak, sent a complaint to the Michigan Attorney General and et cetera, and I carbon copied those who I believe are defrauding me in with the Kayak portion of these DNS records and where they're pointing their name servers, uh, they made changes. So this is mask.care and all these name servers that are at this hostile address that I am our world wide, which is GoDaddy. And this came in with Fastly. And by the way, uh, show you how that came in uh it came in through fastly's ip address and it's this social media bar and they encrypted it or yeah they encrypted it a few months later for but it came in with CDN2 and Jacob Rossi and Fastly. This is their GoDaddy's hacker. So anyway, that is part of CDN2. And it's GoDaddy in their man-in-the-middle attack, conveniently. So the other way I caught them is in 2018... I was getting these browser redirect reports cache in my uh, library and it was telling me what is going on. I knew this was Confluence Networks, but my domain hotels.vi's was at Media Temple. This is Confluence Network, or that's a uh, GoDaddy domain. Yes. And that's Confluence Networks, and I believe that's a GoDaddy domain. So here we have the man in the middle attack getting my domain, and there is index WW, which is where everybody's pointed. 
Now, this was in 2018 when I had skin.shopping as my server. This is my server. That's Expedia. There's my domain. That's GoDaddy and a man in the middle attack. There's Confluence Networks. All these people were stealing from 2016 to 2019. That's when GoDaddy stole the domain from me. But while I had the domain in my possession, GoDaddy had text records on it to website welcome. And they did this to a lot of my domains. But I always, I ask Darren Roos, what is that? It's just part of your domain and our services here at GoDaddy. Yep, yeah, it is. And so, also during when I own the domain, the MX records are pointed at the University of California. In 2019, the domain was stolen. And then they say it was created 2020. There's fraud right here. But now the A records currently, after it was stolen from me, is at the University of California. 